Welcome to our instructional video on performing flexible nasal endoscopy. You will need the following pieces of equipment. First, position the patient upright and spray the decongestant into their nose. Ask them to gently inhale. Next, wipe the end of the endoscope with an alcohol wipe. This will prevent it from misting and lubricate the tip of the scope. Gently pass the endoscope into the nose and use your lead hand to stabilize the scope against the patient's nose. This image demonstrates the eventual depth to which the endoscope should reach. Here is a video of what you will see. First, you see the inferior turbinate, middle turbinate and septum. Aim towards the floor of the nose and advance forward. You will look to see the septum medially and the turbinate laterally. As you pass further forward, you will head towards the postnasal space and the nasopharynx. Aim the endoscope inferiorly down towards the hypopharynx and larynx. And now other structures will come into view. First, you'll see the base of the tongue, the epiglottis and the arytenoids. As you go further forward, you will see the true cords, false cords, piriform fossa and the airway. You can ask the patient to make a sound to check vocal cord adduction and abduction. Then carefully look around the remaining air adhesive tract. Tongue protrusion, cheek insufflation, and turning the head left and right or moving the endoscope can help visualize all of the parts of the upper air adhesive tract. When finished, withdraw the endoscope gently. Thank you for watching.